All right, so we're gonna make a video. I literally just got in the mail today. Well, FedEx delivered it out the mail. <laughs> I gotta back the camera up even more. Uh, got the Lightning Collection Pink Ranger helmet in. Uh, a few things to note. There is a few imperfections here. You can't even really see them. That's the great part about it. Uh, unlike my white one, where this was very white, this was almost a cream color on the back half, I was not thrilled with that. Mine has a slight color tint on the back part. Uh, it's got the fake belt clips because <laughs> it's magnetic. And I honestly, I thought the pink was going to be a molded piece. The pink is not. It is, or I thought it was going to be like a, the helmet was going to be one thing and then this, the pink was going to be another. It is painted. The whole thing is painted with the exception of this part being the only uh, attached on part to it, you know, the visor and the silver part, obviously. So we're gonna take it off the stand, which that's the same standard stand you get with the other ones. And let's take a look on the inside. As you can see, the pterodactyl head is the only part that is not molded. That is a separate piece. I, I really, I honestly thought all this was, but as you can see, there are some slight paint imperfections you know, along the back part, you can see where it's not completely painted. But other than that, it's it's a pretty good helmet. Uh, I try it on right now, but I'm sitting on the other side of the camera. And the only thing I did not care for is how small these helmets are. I mean, they look better for display, but if you're going to wear them, you're going to suffocate in these things. They are not super, like, trying it on, my lips literally sat on the lips on this one, putting this helmet on. It did not fit properly. I have to screw it. I'm just going to, let's see if I can do this without, nope, I don't, I just want to switch the camera. I, this is a new phone, I don't know. I'm kind of playing around with it still. I was hoping I could just swap it out, but I guess not. That doesn't do anything. <laughs> okay. Um, Okay, so I'm just gonna have to do this the old fashioned way. Hi. Take the glasses off. Hopefully everybody can see me. Like it's very snug. Uh, honestly, it feels like it's not even less. Okay, as you can clearly see my chin. So, it's very snug. I'm, my lips are literally, my nose is almost touching the visor. The lips sit right on my lips. Like, it's not a comfortable helmet to wear. I can see a lot more out of this one than I can with the White Ranger, obviously, but this is not a comfortable helmet to be wearing all the time. If you're going to want to do a Power Ranger cosplay with this, it's not going to be comfortable. Like, it sits literally on my head. It is very uncomfortable, I'm not going to lie. From a collector's point, it's great. But from the rest of it, not really. So, I don't know how much of it you actually saw and how much you didn't. Sorry, ignore my laundry basket. And my Meyer cup and everything. Um, overall, it looks great. I, the coloring is a, amazing. Everything about it is great. Just, it's too tight. It's too small a helmet. That's the thing I liked about the Bandai helmets a lot more. They were bigger. Yeah, people were like, oh, it looks like a bobblehead, but can't even get this one on the stand properly. There we go. Oh, still not right. Put the stand together backwards? I didn't think I did. Maybe I did. No? Hmm. There we go. Now it's right. Alright, sorry. Overall, I'm 
started doing an actual unboxing, but it didn't work out so well. I ended up with a lot of background noise that didn't need to be there before I uploaded the video. I double checked it. It was almost a 10, 15 minute video. And I had a whole big setup with all my Pink Ranger stuff, but uh, it's nice to get some female representation. I thought for sure this year's helmet was going to be Mighty Morphin Green. I thought it was going to be Tommy's Green Ranger helmet because, you know, it's Tommy. Probably next year will be the green. I'm hoping next year is blue. I would like to get Billy's helmet. Uh, I never did get the Red Ranger helmet, but getting this one, I'm probably going to go back and get it just so I can, can get the full set of all seven Mighty Morphin helmets when they've all been released. Uh... I did not get the Bandai Red Ranger helmet. I got the Bandai Movie helmet from the 2017 film, which that's one of my favorite ones. Uh, this one, when they announced Pink Ranger helmet, I was like, okay, I'm going to get that. That is going to be awesome. It's nice to have some female representation. Usually they don't do the female stuff. That's why I was very surprised it's going to be Mighty Morphin Pink. Uh, this is my custom. I'll show this off too real quick. This is my custom. I took my movie Legacy Morpher, I made it into a custom Pink Ranger Morpher. I think the battery, yeah, it's off. It was dead. They, they're, all the batteries are dying in all of these. I have eight Morphers. But, got my Zeo Pink coin. I actually have, this is my second Pink Ranger helmet, sadly. I have the Pink Zeo helmet, which was custom made for me. It's not the best, but I absolutely love it. Uh, it's probably about the same size as this but it doesn't have anything to help catch your head and make it fit tightly. This is actually really uncomfortable. I hate to say that. Uh, again, there's minor imperfections here. You can't really see unless you get right up on there. There you can see it. But other than that, you know, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just very small, very uncomfortable to wear. All right, that's gonna be it for this. I'm gonna upload this video and Hopefully it turns out all right.